There's a lot of things that go into uh, having a pet. I mean, there's anything from the additional cost of purchasing the pet, but then there's also regular maintenance, such as annual trips to the vet, you've got food, toys, treats, and then of course you have other things like the unexpected. Uh, you know, you may have um, a medical issue that needs to be addressed, could run anywhere from you know, 100, 200, up to probably $1,000, depending on the severity of it. It's usually best to shop at the large retail stores, the, the Pet Smarts and Pet Co's of the world, because the, the sheer buying power that they have, they can usually offer lower prices for, for that. Not to mention they have a, a lot larger selection to choose from. Uh, the biggest issue though that we come into in terms of major costs with pets is the medical expenses. And one of the easiest ways to go about doing it is to get all the preventative care um, through a, a low cost option, uh, such as a few clinics that are offered through uh, the central Indiana area. You can get spay neuter services at a discounted rate, uh, preventative heartworm, flea and tick preventative medications as well. Is it worth having one? Absolutely. I mean, I have four myself. and. Uh, uh, you know, they're great companions, uh, super um, to, to have around, but at the same time, uh, you do have to plan for it. I would just emphasize looking to adopt uh, as opposed to uh, purchasing a, a pet from a pet store. Um, there's a lot of history behind those pets at the pet stores, and like I said, with um, uh, the, the costs that go into purchasing a new pet with all the medical care and things that are needed, uh, shelters provide a, a great way to get it at a very, very cost-efficient way. Um, they certainly uh, can use the help, so certainly a good way to go.